What is going on guys, Ben Glean here coming back at you with another video. Today we have another Madden 18 realistic style rebuild for you. New jersey came in the mail and it is Earl Campbell, former Houston Oiler. So I figured why not do the Tennessee Titans where the Oilers would end up moving. So that's what we're doing today. We got the Earl Campbell jersey on. I'm feeling nice. Feels good. We got the Tennessee Titans. You got Delaney Walker, Jarrell Casey, and Kevin Byard as their top three players right now. The Titans have looked pretty good this season, although there are a number of things that we're going to have to worry about. One, we're not going to be able to get rid of Delaney Walker. The emergence of second-year safety, Kevin Byard, has been fantastic. And Jarrell Casey has been one of the most underrated players in the NFL for a while. The tough thing about these realistic rebuilds is you can't really make any trades at all. Pretty much no trades at all. And then the signings have to be realistic. Everything has to be realistic. So even though I'd really like to trade Delaney Walker in this because he is 34 years old in that range, very, very old player, still playing at an elite level, but we're not going to have him for probably the length and the duration and the redundancy of this rebuild. So I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this roster and then into the rebuild. All right, so we're here with the team. Very interesting team as we have a dual running back set up here with Derrick Henry and DeMarco Murray. People always say I mispronounce this quarterback's name, but I go back and forth. Sometimes I'll say Mariota, sometimes I'll say Mariota. It's just kind of the way it goes. I'm sure I'm going to flip-flop in this rebuild as we go here. Receivers are pretty good. You got Eric Decker, Corey Davis, Richard Matthews, Taiwan Taylor. Offensive line is very, very talented with Taylor Lewan, Quinton Spain, Ben Jones, Josh Klein, and Jack Conklin. Of course, we know about Delaney Walker and Janu Smith out of FIU, I believe. Yep, FIU. Very fast player. He could be good along the lines for us, or down the lines, because uh, Delaney Walker is not going to be the long-term option. On defense, though, Kevin Byard's a stud. Jonathan Cyprian's got to, you know, play better. With the cornerbacks, you got some young players in here. In uh, LaShawn Sims, he's young. So is Adoree Jackson, Bobby McCain, and of course Logan Ryan was signed in free agency. Defensive line, you got Jarrell Casey, Carl Klug, Sil Williams, Carl Klug, I just said. Daquan Jones, and then, of course, with the linebackers, with Eric Walden, the young player, and Kevin Dodd, Wesley Woodyard, Avery Williamson, Brian Arakpo, and Derek Morgan. Derek Morgan starts, so I don't know why Brian Arakpo is playing left outside linebacker. We're going to go ahead and reorder that, and nothing changes. I'd like Kevin Dodd to play a lot, as he is young. He does have decent stats. we got to get him up. I hope his speed would be better, but uh, I don't know. Let's see what we can do here. All right, so I changed some things, and that is the frequency of which tight ends getting subbed out. I did that in uh, auto subs. Hopefully that changes something. I have it at, oh, I didn't save it. Okay, good thing I came back here. I had tight end uh, sub in at 100 and sub out at 90. Hopefully they get subbed out and subbed in, so Johnny Smith will get significant time. Derrick Henry will be our running back number one. That's, I think, fairly notable. And then on defense, I changed to a 3-4 officially because that's what this defense is, and it was somehow set up to be a 4-3, which I hate. Daquan Jones has moved to defensive tackle. I moved Kevin Dodd down to defensive end, even though he is undersized for the position at 277. Uh, only a little bit, though. He could probably play there. We'll see how he does. Block shed's poor, but we're going to play him there. Everything else is pretty much the same. So I guess I will see you guys at the midseason mark. At the midseason mark, we are 4-3. and three. Eric Decker is our top priority in free agency here for impending free agents. I'd also like to bring back, I guess, pretty much everyone here. Josh Klein, Ryan Suckup for sure. Quentin Spain, maybe not. He doesn't really look all that good. But uh, these top couple of guys for sure, even though Eric Decker is 30. Maybe not Eric Decker, honestly. I might just prefer to have the cap space. We'll see. Definitely Daquan Jones, though. All right, so I brought back Ryan Suckup, Josh Klein, Avery Williamson, and Daquan Jones. I'm going to not address Eric Decker or Quentin Spain at this moment. Also, a change that I've made that I think I might start doing in these realistic rebuilds is I changed the XP to auto upgrading. Did I not? I swear I did that. Because what I want to happen is I want the CPU to do it. So it's like they're progressing as they get better over time. Right, I don't know why it's not doing it. That's something to look into. I might just upgrade in the future, but for now, we're not going to touch it. I'm going to spend coach XP and see you guys for the playoffs. All right, so we did not make the playoffs. I'm fine with that. Our pick's just going to be a little bit better. Went 9-7, and seven, so not a really bad season. About kind of where I expect the Titans to finish in real life anyway. 
Marcus Mariota played very, very well, though. We're going to call that 4,800 yards, 35 touchdowns to 12 interceptions, rushing Derrick Henry. Interesting season. I mean, 1,150 yards is not bad for 20 touchdowns is fantastic. Seven for DeMarco Murray. Interesting how the starting running back is actually getting touchdowns and they're not being vultured away. Six fumbles, though, is way too many. Mariota fumbled twice. He had 182 yards rushing and a touchdown. Those yards per carry, though, were so, so bad. Not sure why that is. Receiving Eric Decker, 86 catches for 1,100 yards, eight touchdowns. Delaney Walker, very, very similar numbers. Six touchdowns, though. Richard Matthews, six touchdowns. Corey Davis as a rookie. Those could be rookie of the year numbers, although I doubt it. 933 yards receiving, eight touchdowns. Blocking, sacks allowed 17 for Lawan and a 10 for Conklin. Defensively, Wesley Woodyard led our team in tackles with 135. Tackles for loss would be nine from Daquan Jones. Brian Rackpo at eight. Quarterback sacks, Brian Rackpo was the only one in double digits. Interceptions, we have two from Arakpo, two from Williams, two from Ryan, or Williamson, Avery Williamson, and then two for Kevin Byard. Force fumbles, I see somebody with four. It's Brian Arakpo and Daquan Jones, and Jarrell Casey had three. Fumble recoveries, three from Jarrell Casey. I see at least a defensive touchdown as Brian Arakpo had a safety. As a Dory Jackson, that's why we have him on the team. He's supposed to be a playmaker in the return game. Making plays happen on defense, too, with that touchdown. I love it. Big Ben wins MVP. Mariota at number four. Okay. AFC Offensive Player of the Year, Mariota at number two. Defensive Player of the Year, Shazier at one. Arakpo at four. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Deshaun Watson. Corey Davis at four. Defensive Rookie of the Year. I don't think we started anybody now, so we could not have possibly won that. All right. CPU's been upgrading our players. Maybe we just have to wait for the end of the season. Um, but they did. So I like, kind of like this style a bit better. It saves me time. But also, I feel like it's a natural progression. And I like that. Kevin Byers up to a 90. And it's also fun because I can see the new overalls. I like that a lot. Maybe I will stick to that. Let's go to the offseason, though. Okay, I'm going to make an executive decision here. With the emergence of Corey Davis, Tywan Taylor, Rashard Matthews, and even Tajay Sharp. Kind of forgot he was on the team for a moment. I don't need a 31-year-old regressing Eric Decker. He's going to walk in free agency. Quentin Spain is an interesting one because he's only 26. I'm going to try and re-sign him. And Quentin Spain is going to return. He re-signs. So I accidentally simulated to the next week. Uh, pretty tough, but they're no good free agents anyway. They usually never are in year one. No one that would help our team at least because Drew Brees is very good. But we don't need him by any means. We don't need any tight ends. So we're fine from that front. So we're just going to go ahead and scout. And I will see you guys for the draft. All right, here we are in the NFL draft. The Niners hold the number one overall pick. We have the 19th, I believe. Yeah. And it is kind of boring, but I'm just going to trade down here with the Bears. Take their wolf, uh, their first next year and their fourth this year. There's some talent in the mid-rounds. With this pick, I'm going to take a cornerback I don't know too much about. I only could see his top two skills. They looked pretty good. His combine was decent. He's fast enough. All I really need from, his, from him is to be a third corner. I'm hoping for like a 76 overall would be ideal. He's a 69 overall, but he is very, very good. Now, I know that it says I reached a lot, but I see 89 speed, 83 man, 81 zone. All I have to do is boost play rec, and if he can get enough XP, he's going to be an incredible player. So, like, he's a project, but he's also decent enough looking. Coverage is there. With this pick, I'm taking Harmon Thurwell, or Thelwell out of Miami. Good top three skills, very, very strong and pretty quick as well. Here we go. Starting left guard, probably. He's only a 73 overall, but he's got quick development. He's ranked 66 in the draft. We took him at 83. 89 strength, 80 run block, 76 pass block, with 87 impact blocking. I said they kind of weird because I was going to say 6 because I saw acceleration, which is 76, which is high. And then high speed, 2 out of 70. Awareness is very bad, which I do like because you upgrade that, and their overall skyrockets. I'm in on that pick. Very happy with that in the third round. With my next two picks, I'm just going to try and trade down for thirds next year. So that's what's going to happen. Um, I'm just going to trade down whatever I can get. I can get. I'm in the fifth round. I'm just going to take Joey Sherbet here. Looks decent enough. All I need is him to be a backup. 70 overall. It's a good pick. Uh, nothing special, although he is pretty well-rounded. I've also decided that only the top prospects that I take at interesting positions, so pretty much no offensive line, are going to get their names changed to actual real prospects. So the only prospect we're going to change is this cornerback, Therese Cooper, out of Washington. 
So we would end up making him Sam Beal out of Western Michigan. Thought it'd be a cool narrative in that particular draft range with Corey Davis going to Western Michigan out of former Western Michigan teammate. It's kind of cool. This is the team for season number two, though. It looks pretty good. I like where we are. I think there's room to improve. I think, actually, I might start a rookie at left guard. Uh, Thelwell looked pretty good. He has quick development. I know I said Quentin Spain was going to be the guy, and I re-signed Quentin Spain, but I don't think Quentin Spain is going to be as good as Thelwell is going to be for the long term. So Thelwell is going to be that weak link at left guard for right now, but I think we're fine. And then on defense, I am trying to play Beal at nickel corner if he'll allow it. He keeps going back. Kevin Byer is not a 90 anymore, which is kind of kind of weird, but all right. But I'm going to go ahead and simulate to the midseason mark, see how we're doing. i got to simulate to the next week. Then I'll do it, but I'll see you guys there. Delaney Walker is going to be an impending free agent here at the midseason mark. We're 4-3. I think it's the exact same as we were last year. But also, Taylor Lewan, Marcus Mariota, Richard Matthews, Brian Arakpo, who's regressing. Even though I love Rack, huge Texas Longhorns fans, as you guys probably are fan, as you guys should probably know by now, I don't think I can bring back Brian Arakpo. He's just too old. So I've re signed all of our top players here, except for Brian Arakpo, except for Derek Morgan. I just can't bring them back. They're too old. They're not developing. They're regressing. And that is a killer. So despite having a worse record than last year, we have actually made the playoffs at 8-8. Eight and eight. The CPU has been upgrading our players year-round. Some of them are starting to look very, very usable. Very solid. Thelwell's up to an 80 overall. Derrick Henry is quickly approaching a 90 at an 89. Kevin Byard's back to a 90. Um, no real regression going on yet from a lot of these players, but some of them are in a big way, to be honest. Marcus Mariota threw for just over 4,000 yards, 38 touchdowns, 15 interceptions is not great though. Derrick Henry slightly improves his yards per carry, still putting the ball on the turf a little bit too often. Nearly 1,300 yards, 8 touchdowns for him though to be fair. Receiving Corey Davis led our team in catches, but yards are way down, 5 touchdowns. Rashard Matthews over 1,000 yards, 13 touchdowns, 4 touchdowns on 1,000 yards for Taewon Taylor, 9 for Delaney Walker on 71 catches for 782 yards. Very odd numbers being put up uh, by our receivers there. Wesley Woodyard leads our team in tackles with 132. Tackles for loss would be 10 from Jarrell Casey, also had 10 sacks, which also led the team. Interceptions, 3 from Arakpo, Woodyard, and Jackson. I don't know how Brian Arakpo, as a pass rusher, is getting that many interceptions, but whatever. Forced fumbles is 2 from Jonathan Cyprian, and defensive touchdowns is 1 also from Jonathan Cyprian. We're not going to have anyone in contention for any of these, probably. Mariota, though, at number six. Interesting. ASC Offensive Player of the Year, Marcus Mariota there at number five. Defensive Player of the Year, Von Miller wins it. No Titans. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Austin Frank of the Jets. And Defensive Rookie of the Year, Mustafa Spencer. Sam Beal in there at number four, to be fair to him. Not bad. Wish he would have won it, though. So we went ahead and simulated, and now we're in the divisional against the 10 and 6 Chiefs. We can advance the conference championship with a win over them here, but I don't think that we're going to. And that confidence pays off as we do end up losing. So season number two is more successful than the last season if we make the playoffs and even win a playoff game. But uh, unfortunately cannot advance the conference championship. And now we're headed into the year two offseason. I can't sign back Rack. I can't. Osakpo, I want to. I can't. Derek Morgan, I cannot. I can't do it. Could be some playmakers in free agency. I really want to improve my linebacking core. Greg Olson, no interest. Jordy Nelson, no interest. Uh, Nikita Whitlock's an 85 overall. Okay. I have significant interest in Jason Verrett, although I likely won't target him. Dante Fowler Jr. is a very interesting one, although I likely will not target him either. I think I'm probably set on free agents this year. Although, nah, yeah, I'm set. I'm not going to sign anybody. I could. I'd prefer to build through the draft, though. That's the reality. Now we are in the NFL Draft, and we hold the number one overall pick, thanks to the Chicago Bears being absolutely terrible. We also have the 25th pick in the first round. So what I might look to do here is try and trade down if I don't like who's here at number one. More than likely, I'll end up doing that. I think more picks is more valuable, unless there's a stud I can't pass up. So with this number one overall pick, I am trading it to the New York Giants for their number five overall pick, their second round pick, as well as their first next year. The Giants are obviously in the market for a quarterback, most likely. That's why they're making this trade up. At least that's what we'll say for the real life purposes. I'm not sure if they're going to take a quarterback or not, as they take a left tackle. 
Same deal. Okay, and then Bruton, the number one overall projected player, goes at four, who I wanted, but I didn't want that badly enough to take him at number one. The two left tackles, at least Drayton is a monster, and the other one, there's another really good left tackle, also a monster. Might have to check him out. With this pick, though, I am taking Malcolm Gordon out of Florida. I'm not going to say Malcolm. You can, you can fuck off with that, honestly. Amazing top three skills, B plus block shed, B hit power, B power move out of Florida. Not sure who we're going to change him into yet, but he will be getting an actual prospect in the 2019 draft. Very fast to amazing combine. Here we go. 82 overall. Number three in the class. We take him at number five. 87 speed flying off the edge. 81 finesse move, 83 power move, 86 block shit, 85 hit power, 83 pursuit, 80 tackle. Play rec is pretty high, but awareness is lower. Yeah, he's a tremendous, tremendous player. Very happy with that selection, even with normal development. And I might make a move to trade back into the first round. Even though I do have a 25th pick, I mean like back into the top 10. All right, I won my first round pick at number 25. That was our pick already. A one next year and a two this year. So we're giving up a lot of value to take this player. Clearly someone very high up on our board. Um, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and make this pick. It's going to be Wendell Wilkins out of Penn State. He'll be another player that we end up changing. Pretty much like one to three round guys, first to third, are what we're going to change. Looks incredible. Amazing top three skills as well. Here he is. 80 overall says we've reached but look at look at his abilities as a 3-4 uh defensive at 87 strength 86 tackle 85 block shed 85 power moves 84 excel with 70 speed like he's one of the best players i've seen so i don't care what the rating says incredible player fantastic pick very very happy with that and with this pick i'll be taking jimmy payne out of tennessee keeping him in state great top three skills very good combine as well here he is 80 overall what is up with this draft class he's ranked at number 32 and he's an 80 in our scheme he's also incredible 85 speed 85 tackle 86 block shit 84 hit power 79 pursuit 76 player this is one of the best players i've seen again how can i keep saying that but this draft class has been phenomenal now i'm going to be taking gregory lynch out of arizona state a safety he could potentially come in and start he doesn't look incredible this is mainly kind of a death pick and here he is decent depth 87 speed, 78 zone, 86 hit power, 92 acceleration. He'll be a good special teams player, which is kind of what I expected. All right, Leo Freeman, very high hopes from you. You don't fit the scheme tremendously well as you're listed at a 4-3 run stopper, but you're 6-3, 317 with great top three skills, very good combine, incredibly strong, decently quick as well. Very good pick for us, 66. We took him at 76. He's a 75 overall. But 92 strength, 87 tackle, 81 block shed, 83 excel. He's not great at getting to the quarterback, which is a tough thing. But that can be upgraded over time. And I'll turn this last third round pick into a second next year from the... Uh, let's do... Let's do the Washington Redskins. I'm also going to be taking this fourth round pick and turning this into a third from the Bears. All right, with this fifth round pick, I'm going to be taking a player that's going to lay down the law. Lawrence Law is at Fresno State. He's supposed to go in the sixth round. I'll take him in the fifth. Why not? Oh, uh, that's why. Okay, geez. Didn't expect that. 76 overall. Superstar development. Ranked number 41 in the class. We take him at 153. 88 strength. 78 blocks at 82 power move. 78 excel. So he's not the best player that we've taken in the draft even close, but that superstar development is going to make him get into the lineup somehow. I'm sure of it. And we have two picks left. These are my players on the board. Um, not going to be taking Ellis Cookman or Cunningham. I'll be taking Vincent Rabisky and Terea Gross most likely. Uh, let's go with Vincent Rabisky first here in the sixth. Excellent pick. He's ranked at number 95. He's actually really good. 85 speed, 81 zone, 87 hit power. Solid player. Probably not going to play him, though. Oh, and Tere Gross goes at number 216. Great. Cool. I'll take the second round projected player that's going to be absolute trash. He, awful. Awful. Yeah, second round, my ass. Fucking LaCraig Allen. Give me a LeBreak. 
So the players we'd end up adding is now Josh Sweat out of Florida State. He could end up being a really top pick in the draft, really high pick, I should say. Dexter Lawrence, part of that amazing Clemson defensive line. And of course, Tremaine Edmonds out of Virginia Tech. Uh, I think two amazing players potentially up here at the top. Dexter Lawrence for sure. Josh Sweat has a way to go, but he has the athleticism for it and the build. Uh, Dexter Lawrence is a phenomenal player on that amazing Clemson D-line with Cleveland Farrell. You know, of course, Dexter Lawrence and Christian Wilkins. And, I mean, they're so good. And uh, Tremaine Edmonds has been pretty solid for Virginia Tech. Another really good athlete, so he fits the mold here. Three very good rookies. So this is the team. Looks pretty good. Just all about progression at this point. Offensive lines coming together. And of course, defensively starting a lot of rookies. Laws won't be able to become a starter. We need a better strong safety, but Cyprian will work for right now. Let's go ahead and advance to the uh, midseason mark. So we upgrade the team and stay at a 4-3 and three record at the midseason mark, per usual. Seems like that is the standard every single time. 4-3 and three record at the midseason mark. You know, I might upgrade now. I see the points not being spent by the CPU. I might upgrade now. Also, probably should bring back Kevin Byard. All right, so I re-signed Tashi Sharp, Kevin Dodd, Ben Jones, Logan Ryan, Jack Conklin, and Kevin Byer. Derrick Henry needs more salary, and Wesley Woodyard is 33, so no thank you, and I have no interest in the rest. Simulating now to the playoffs, and we are... I didn't time this right. We didn't make the playoffs. We go 6-9-1. and one. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I really don't. Marcus Mariota... 4,467 yards, 38 touchdowns, 16 picks. It's got to come down. Derrick Henry played pretty well. 1,330 yards, 6 touchdowns. Marcus Mariota, 240 yards, 3 touchdowns. Receiving Delaney Walker, led our team in catches. Uh, not in yards, though, as we have Taewon Taylor and Corey Davis, both over 1,000. Corey Davis had 17 touchdowns. Richard Matthews had 0. 11 for Taewon Taylor. Blocking, how did we do? Sacks are kind of weird. Defensively, Avery Williamson led our team in tackles with 139. Tackles for loss would be 11 from Jarrell Casey, 11 from Daquan Jones. Quarterback sacks, 7.5 from Josh Sweat, the rookie. 7 from Tremaine Edmonds. Interceptions, 4 from Logan Ryan, 3 from Sam Beal out of Western Michigan. Logan Ryan also forced 4 fumbles. Man, the front of my nose is so itchy. Uh, safety from Dexter Lawrence. Any defensive touchdowns? No. Um... Awards. Let's see what we did here. We're definitely going to a four season. It's Tom Brady wins MVP. Marcus Mariota there at number 10. AFC Office Player of the Year. Tom Brady, Mariota in there at number three. No Derrick Henry. Defense Player of the Year goes to Elandon Roberts. No Titans. Offensive Rookie of the Year. No Titans. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Tremaine Edmonds at two. Josh Sweat at three. Dexter Lawrence at five. Gregory Lynch at eight. I can't do anything, man. Came so close. I have a lot of coach XP, though, which is kind of weird. All right, got to bring Derrick Henry back while we still have a chance to do so. Wesley Woodyard's down to a 78. I'm out on that. Let's increase the salary, and he re-signs. We got to make some big, big improvements in free agency if we're going to have a shot at the playoffs next year. I'm not really sure how we didn't make it. I think this team is, is definitely good enough to make the playoffs, and for whatever reason, we're not. Jalen Ramsey would be an awesome sign. I'm not going to go after him. I am, however, going to go after uh, Keon O'Neal. This is exactly the player we need. I will offer him a very big contract in order to get him. 104 total points. We need to even up that a bit. I need to secure Keon O'Neal on the team at all costs. A puncher with superstar development? What? He's sick. I'm so in on this. And Texas, too. Hook him horns. See you later, Ryan Suckup. All right, so we got all four players we went after. Keanu Neal, Deion Jones, and then two special teamers at kicker and punter. Team is looking pretty solid. Now it's all about taking it to the next level. Not sure how we're going to do that. Delaney Walker's going down in overall, but he's still on the team, which is a cool thing. We need a cornerback. That's where we're weak. That is where we're weak. Cornerback would take this team to the next level. All right, here we go. We're in the draft. We have the fourth overall pick. I know who I want. It's a cornerback. He's the best one on the board. He's not supposed to go for a little while, but we're going to reach down the board a little bit and take him. Fisher Cooper out of Bama. Not going to end up changing him. Obviously, it's the 2020 draft class at this point. So, 
you know, I'm not going to start taking high school players and guessing. So Fisher Cooper, it is 80 overall, ranked three in the draft at, at number three. We take him at number four, 89 speed, 87 man, 80 zone, 89 press. Very, very good player. I'm going to simulate to the end of the draft. I really just don't have any interest in taking the rest of the picks. They're not going to be impact players for this team. We've taken the positions we need. The cornerback class was really, really weak. I took the best one available, and he turned out to be pretty good. So that was cool. How does Kevin Byard have slow development? Because he didn't get a pick for the year? He got minus? What? That's so annoying. He didn't get a sim He didn't get a pick in sim, even though he's a beast. Now he has slow dev. This is the team, though. It's a good team. I can't say that they're going to do all that well, because I don't know. It's, it's a really tough thing to, to predict when we put out a team that's good enough to win, and they don't. I'm going to change up the scheme, maybe see if that'll do anything. We're not attacking 3-4 out of the 3-4 playbook. I might just go base 3-4 and, uh, I don't know. All right, so this is the team looking pretty good. We change it up a little bit, change the playbooks. Hopefully some good stuff comes of it. I like it. I mean, there's nothing I, that nothing I can do other than go to the midseason mark and hope that the record's good. That's the reality. Oh, not four and three. Three, three, and one this time. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. We can't can't really do much. And we don't make the playoffs again. Go eight, seven, and one. Dude, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm putting together a team. This is a good team. It's a solid team for these realistic rebuilds. And we are not winning games. One more year. I want the playoffs, man. It's not that much to ask. All right, so we brought back our top... Four guys, that's all I want to do. We need to sign an impact free agent. I'm almost certain Delaney Walk. Yeah, he retired. Uh, I'll show you guys the stats because I forgot to do that. So Delaney Walker's not going to be in here. Bear that in mind. 4,800 yards for Mariota, 39 touchdowns, still 16 interceptions. I don't get that. Derrick Henry, 1,200 yards, 11 touchdowns. Receiving Taiwan Taylor, 113 catches for 1,000 yards, 7 touchdowns. Corey Davis, 1,300 yards, 11 TDs. Rashard Matthews, 1,100 yards, 9 touchdowns. Defensively, Deion Jones led our team in tackles, 129. Tackles for loss, 12 from Dexter Lawrence, 11 from a handful of players. Sacks, Dexter Lawrence had 9. 8 for Josh Sweat, 6 for Daquan Jones, 5.5 for Jarrell Casey. Laws actually played a decent amount. That's interesting. Interceptions, 4 for Logan Ryan, 4 for Deion Jones. Force fumbles, we have 2 from Keanu Neal. Led the team. What about defensive touchdowns? Okay. I don't know why that bothered me as much as it did. No one won any awards. So you don't have to worry about it. There's no one in the draft that we could even take that would help us out. There really isn't anyone. So I don't know. We're, we're in a tough spot. All right. I went after Desmond King. Desmond King accepts. Defensively, we've improved. Still not amazing because... I mean, the cornerback group is not is not fantastic. That's that's what the situation is. There's nothing I can do in the draft that's going to propel us to the playoffs if we're not there already. Like, there are good players, I guess, here. Better than I thought, maybe. Ooh, okay. Wow. Where was this draft class two years ago? All right, we have the 18th pick. Should be able to take a good cornerback if there's one still on the board. Here's my draft board. The only player available is Tank Curtis, one that I actually liked, one that looks really, really good. We're going to take him a fifth corner who's a beast. 81 overall superstar development. Plug him in instantly. All right, that's the draft. <laughs> Whoops. This is the team for the fifth and final season. I believe it's fifth. could be the fourth. Counting is not my strong suit. Defensively, things look great. I mean, it looks like a really, really, really good team. Starting Tank Curtis, starting Adoree Jackson, move Logan Ryan to the four, move Cooper to strong safety as a backup there. That's fine. The cornerback group is solid. The defensive line is solid. The fact that we aren't winning is deplorable. I, I don't know what other teams are looking like in the NFL, but I don't think many of them can be at the same level to where we are right now. It would make absolutely no sense to me that that would be the case. We're simulating to the midseason mark. Hopefully we have a decent enough record to make the playoffs. I don't know what to tell you if we don't, because I feel like I've done, I've rebuilt this team. It's very good at, you know, mid to high 80s to 90s everywhere. That's what it is. And we're just not making the playoffs due to Madden simulation. Okay, 
What is our record? Five and three. It's better than the usual four and three. I will take it. I'll take that. We have a decent amount of XP to spend, especially on Tank Curtis, the rookie cornerback. I'm going to use all this XP. We're going to upgrade these players. We're making the playoffs. Tank Curtis is up to an 86 overall. Love it. This is the upgraded team. The offensive line has gotten worse because Ben Jones has gotten worse. Again, it's the reality of aging players. I keep saying the reality, the reality, but it's true. Older players are going to get worse. That's generally how it goes. Uh, Josh Klein, same overall at center. It's a good team. It's not tremendously good, but it's good enough to win. It's good enough to make the playoffs. It isn't the best team I've ever built, but you got to keep in mind, it's a realistic rebuild. I can't trade for sick players. It's pretty much just drafting and signing a few players here and there. Here we go, though. Please, can we make the playoffs? That's all I want. First round E-Limit, whatever. Just can we please make the playoffs? First round buy, I love it. 10-5-1 gets us a first round buy. That's pretty weak. Mariota, though, under 4,000 yards. He's throwing 16 picks a year no matter what. Can you not? 34 touchdowns, though, for rushing Derrick Henry, 12 yards, 10 touchdowns, 12 for Dylan Bradley. I don't like that first name. Uh, 13 touchdowns from Corey Davis and 1,100 yards is pretty much the highlight there. Blocking sacks are still broken. Deion Jones led our team in tackles. Tackles for loss, 14 from Daquan Jones. Quarterback sacks, 7.5 Dexter Lawrence, 7.5 Josh Sweat led the team. Interceptions, 7 from Desmond King, 4 from Adoree Jackson, 4 from Deion Jones, 4 for Bayard, 3 for Curtis, 2 for Cam Neal. This Curtis... He's tank, tank playing like playing like tank. Also had a defensive touchdown. Keanu Neal touchdown. Dora Jackson touchdown. We didn't MVP. We, did, we didn't win MVP. Show me defensive rookie of the year. Love it, love it. This is the team, man. This is the upgraded team for the final season. We're in the playoffs. I'm happy about it. I'm excited. 10-5 and one is not a freight record, but it got us the first round by. So it looks better than it is. We're playing the Chargers in the divisional. Can we beat them and advance to the conference championship? Please. God damn it. All right. Absolute disaster. I mean, not really because we built a sick team. Got some cool guys in there that are, will be rookies eventually. Josh Sweat, Tremaine Edmonds, Dexter Lawrence, all really, really good players. Nobody offensively, but it was a good offense to begin with. But you saw Corey Davis develop. Tajay Sharp, not so much, but Tywan Taylor for sure. Jonu Smith, not so much, because Delaney Walker was there. But this was really fun. I enjoyed it. I just wish the simulation would be a little bit more forgiving. And by that, I mean helpful. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.